Shooting photography in sunlight can be a right pain in the neck, right? What if it wasn't? Here are five ways you can take professional looking images that look less like this and more like this. Here's how. Play tape. And cut. Can I get my parasol? So we've all heard the terms golden hour and blue hour in photography, which generally refer to roughly one hour before and after sunrise and sunset. And while these are valid times to shoot certain types of photography like landscape and cityscape, a lot of photographers would avoid shooting in the middle of the day and in bright sunlight because of harsh shadows and high dynamic range. Other types of photography though, like portrait and action photography, can really benefit from shooting in these harsh conditions if you know how to control it, because it can be frickin' challenging. Hack one. See that? See that shadow that runs right along that laughter line? That's your sweet spot. Like a sundial at seven o'clock. Too far this way and we start to lose all detail in this side of the face. You might want to go for that split light effect but it might be better suited to black and white photography. And too far to the right we start to pull a funny face because we can't see anything. Sweet spot. We get a nice graduated fall off of light on the cheek and we can see the shape of the nose beautifully. Sweet spot. Just finding that five o'clock sweet spot. Alternatively, we can use the sun as a backlight or rim light, resulting in fantastic separation between the talent and the background. If there isn't enough light on the front of the talent, you can use a bounce reflector as a fill light. Which brings me on to hack number two. Replace the sun. What do you mean, you idiot, Mark? You can't replace the sun. I'm switching off this channel immediately. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. There's an explanation. Placing a softbox directly in the line of the sun and using a studio light, you can get the same amount of power as the sun, but with nice soft shadows instead. Yes, but Mark, what if I don't have, or can't afford, a studio light? To get this shot, I only used less than a quarter of its power, which means you can get the same shot with a speed light cranked all the way up. Yes, but Mark, what if I don't have a speed light? Then move directly to hack number three, and if you pass go, collect 200 pounds and buy yourself a speed light. Scrim and save. Scrim. A scrim is a... A scrim is a translucent material, allowing light, but not detailed shapes to pass through it. So kind of semi-transparent. <laughs> Hack four, high-speed sync, HSS. Ooh, that sounds scary. Nah. What the hell is HSS? In a nutshell, all digital cameras have a maximum flash sync speed on the shutter, which varies, but usually sits around 200th of a second. If you go past that range, say to 800th of a second, the flash will fire, but the shutters won't be fully open and you'll wind up with a dirty great black line across your beautifully composed image. HSS, however, fires a rapid burst of flashes for the duration of the shutter actuation. For the duration of the shutter actuation. <laughs> for the duration of the shutter actuation. This happens so fast that to the naked eye, it just looks like one flash. So how does this apply to photography in the middle of the day? Well, we can now increase the shutter to action speed photography, say a thousandth of a second or four thousandth of a second, and still use the flash. And did I also mention you can stop down your aperture to 2.8, 1.4, you get the picture. You get the nice buttery bokeh picture. Here's an image taken in bright sunlight, pretty uninspiring and could have been taken with a camera phone. Now let's try it with some high speed sync flash. I've increased my shutter speed by two stops to bring down the ambient light. The result, more dynamic and more drama. So what if you're shooting in the shade of a building or it's an overcast day, but you want that hard edge look that the sun gives you? No problem. And hack five, 
a hard box. A hard box has the opposite effect of a soft box. It has a black interior finish, it reduces stray light, and it reduces the size of the light source itself, resulting in deep, sharp shadows just like the sun. Pro Photo sell dedicated hard boxes for about £800. I just modified my existing kit for a quid. So there you have it, five kick-ass ways to tame the beast in the sky. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, check out my other videos on the channel, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because you're going to miss out on some finger-looking good content. See you next week, tubers.